Hey everyone, I'm here at Little Tibet in downtown Bloomington with Pema, who is originally from Tibet. And this is the restaurant we're trying. And we're trying a couple dishes. So uh, Pema, can you explain what I'm holding here? That's a beef momo. Okay. Uh, is this like the most popular street food? Yes. In, uh, let's say like Tibet or Nepal or Nepal, the Bhutan. region. Okay. I think that. And them. also, I also have a soup here. Yeah. It's Tibet called Tentu. Tentu. Yeah, I call it in the restaurant Kam Ando Tupa. Yeah, so this is exactly what he's talking about. Uh, I've had this soup in Jackson Heights, Queens, which has, you know, uh, as many Tibetan restaurants as you could try in a single month. Um, it's really crazy if you've never been there. Um, you get off at 74th and Broadway and it's like everywhere. So um, I have a question. Yeah. Why Bloomington, Indiana? Why I come to Bloomington, Indiana? Yes. It's uh, my relatives here, and uh, he's retired, and that's why I'm coming here. It's continuous. Okay. There's also like I'm from Tibet, and I wanna this restaurant in Bloomington. I wanna continue to keep going, and Tibet traditional food, Tibet culture. I wanna show them the in the wall, and uh, it's a lot like politics, you know. That in Tibet is part of China and Chinese government they destroy for all the Tibetan culture and everything in Tibet so that's why I'm here for the Onke continues on the restroom and uh, try to show the own home in the wall like in our students and well um, this restaurant could be a museum if you have a look around you have like first of all I sat here because this is Lhasa the historic capital of Tibet um, and pretty much every wall looks like this I got the meaning of life behind me and you mentioned that there's a picture of you and the Dalai Lama. Yes, never give up, live with kindness, and they have so many. Okay, and the Dalai Lama has spoken here in uh, Bloomington a few times? Yes. Okay, and you also mentioned he has a brother who's a faculty at the university? Yes, uh, he has also a temple over there, Tibetan Mongolian Buddhist temple. Okay, I'm definitely going to head there and check that out later. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this Tibetan food, which I always uh, try to find when I'm in a new city. I'm glad I did here. So how do we say goodbye in your language? Cha shi de le. Cha shi de le. Yeah, de mochi. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it right on my first try, so I'm just going to say goodbye. Be jalo. Okay, thank you very much.